In this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage your events, your tasks, and all of the other things you need to keep track of in one space, and we're starting right now. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. So when I'm looking at my calendar, sometimes I want to see everything that's going on. So I want to see all of the tasks, all of my events, and all of the other things that I want to try and keep track of. Things like when the gym's open, when the court is open, and other places that I want to go to. In Notion, you can do all of that in one database. So you can see here I've got a database in a calendar view, and I can see all of my events, all of my tasks, and all of the things that I need to keep track of. I've got them on specific days, and I've added times to the ones that are needed. Then to move things across, all I need to do is click and drag them over. Now if I have loads of tasks, and I have the tasks and events and everything else on one space, it can get kind of messy. So what I've done is I've created a view specific to the events. So now I can see all of the events that I need to go to with the times appropriate. And because of the way Notion works, each one of these events is a page. So when I go into the page, you can see I've got that zoom link. So all I need to do is click on the page, click on the zoom link, and I'm in the call. I've added a time to this event, so it's 4pm, and I've also added a reminder, and I can add it one hour before, at the time, or any of the other options that it gives me. If however this event was longer than one day, maybe it's a holiday, I can add an end date, and again, I still have that option for the time, and that will then be shown on the calendar view. So you can see now that meeting goes from 27, 28, and 29, with the start time and the end time still showing. Now some of the events or meetings you may need to have a review maybe a week later, so you can have another calendar view set up for a week later. So you can see I have a formula that just adds a week onto those previous events. Then when we go to all of those tasks that we want to get done, we can still view it in the calendar view. So we can have this calendar view, we can have a tick box to say whether we've done it or not. Then when we tick that tick box, because of the filter we have, it will actually disappear. So you can only see the tasks that we need to get done. Of course, you can remove that filter and have all of the tasks showing, but this is just personal preference for me. Now when we go back to that first view, all of these pages are still their own pages, they still have that tick box in, and you can still add any information you need. But maybe you don't necessarily want to see all of those things in the calendar view. What I've actually got below is linked views of that database, so you can see they're all calendar, this is the calendar database, and these are actually list views of that calendar database that have been filtered for specific information. So this one's only filtered for today's events and tasks. This one is filtered for tomorrow's, and this is filtered for all of the completed events and tasks. Now when I tick on that tick box, it disappears from that today view because of the filter, and it will now show in that completed view. All of these views are completely customizable with how Notion works. And you can see when you tick things off in the calendar, it'll also reflect in those list views because it is the same database. So if we add a filter to tomorrow to say that done is not ticked, that piece of information will now disappear. And then if we add a new task down in this list, it will also show in the calendar database. So we're going to give it a tag as task, which means it's now going to show in the task database for tomorrow. If we want it to be an event, we can change the tag to event. It will now put in a review date for a week's time. And when we go to the events view, there it is, and we can see it in there. We can also change that tag to other, now it's not going to show in the events view, but it's going to show in that overall view with all the tasks, events and everything else. Now all of these different calendar views have different filters for the information you want to see, and you can add views, take away views, add filters, sort things, it's entirely up to you. This calendar is actually sorted by a different date, which is that review date that we had. But if you want to learn more about some of the advanced filters that you can do in Notion, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.